This case is stylish. It's efficient. It's easy to build in. And it has a logo that I for sure have not seen on a PC case before. This is the King 95 Ultra. It's a collaboration between Montech and the Gear Seekers, and we're gonna learn all about it right here, right now on Robitech. In case you're not familiar with the case, the Montech King 95 has become one of the most universally hyped PC cases by tech tubers and PC building enthusiasts like me. But there have been some, some rumbling, some sounds of thunder from down under, you might say, that suggest that it could be better. And no, not that thunder from down under. These rumblings came from our favorite Australians, the Gear Seekers. Now, in case you missed their announcement video from Computex, you really should go watch it after this one. It really is special. And honestly, it's always a huge win to see your peers absolutely crushing it in their field. So seeing the King 95 Ultra come to life is a testament to their work in this arena. So sappy words aside, we're gonna showcase what they've done to make this unique to their brand and vision. And we're gonna give the King 95 Ultra the full Robitech review treatment, benchmarks, critiques, and all. Now starting with the price at the time of this video, the King 95 Ultra is available for $199. When we look for comparable cases in $25 range on either side, we find cases like the Height Y70, the Fantex NV7, and the Lee & Lee 011 Evo XL. So it is keeping company with some premium PC cases, but it's about $50 more than the King 95 Pro. Now it's hard to say if that price will stay there because the case is a limited run, only 2024 will be made. And it just so happens that we have one of the coolest numbers you can get. This one is 117. And for those of Halo fans, that's what it's for. The rest of you guys are like, what's so special about that? Well, if you're Halo, you know. As far as physical dimensions go, the King 95 Ultra keeps the same dimensions as the OG King 95, even though they've actually upgraded the feet on the case. And when we look at other comparisons, the King 95 Ultra has a similar footprint to the Antec C8, the NZXT H9, and the Height Y70, though, from a height perspective, it's the short King like the H6 Flow. And, like Nick himself. When it comes to weight, you may need a sturdy surface for this bad boy. It's hefty. At just under 35 pounds or 16 kilograms, this thing is on par with the Corsair 5000D, but it's it's not quite as heavy as the Corsair 6500D or the Asus ROG Hyperion. Still, you're gonna wanna lift with your knees or team lift with a set of those bright orange moving straps. Now, before we move inside, we have to point out some of the big changes that Gear Seekers made to this case. These silver panels are actually aluminum. They wanted this case to look professional and be able to function aesthetically in a variety of different spaces. So the materials and colors have to be able to translate into different themes. And just look at it. I think it's achieved the goal. It's very early 2010 MacBook cheese grater, or, you know, kind of the likes. Though, the one thing we will say is we did notice it kind of scuffs and dents a little bit easier. The King 95 Ultra IO and controls also carry that same pursuit of quality. The two USB type A ports, the USB type C port, and separate audio jacks, as well as an LED button and power button, all have this inset bezel around them that just add an extra layer of that fitment. Yes, you did hear that right. They're not monsters. They did keep the RGB accents, the fans, and controls of the King 95 Pro. Now, when you pair those panels with that curved tinted temper glass front that apparently you can run over with a car and the subtle Gear Seekers logo, it's just, it's so fancy. Oh, and having tempered glass up front isn't your vibe. They actually included an aluminum mesh replacement panel like the King 95's before it. It's also worth mentioning here, and even though there is no corner post up front here, the case is actually really, really sturdy. You know, like how sometimes you can remove a panel and now the PC case is celebrating like no bones Thursday? Yeah, this case does not have that problem. Now, to move inside, you're gonna want some tools on hand. While the main panels are secured in place by thumb screws, you're gonna want a Phillips head screwdriver on hand to get underneath that massive back plate that hides the cable management channel. The cover is on a hinge, so you can either leave it to swing open or take it right off when you're building. And just to note here, there's a lot of space for cable management here, which, which we love to see, but also the cables for all of the pre-installed fans were run and managed decently well out of the box. We did have to clean up a few of the cables of the fans up front, but we aren't gonna hold that against Gear Seekers or Montech. I mean, it was still pretty clean. Now, as for motherboard support, the King 95 Ultra can support ATX, micro ATX, and mini IT motherboards. There is no support for back connect motherboards here, but with the layout of the original King 95, that's actually not all that unsurprising. They would have had to do a lot of changes in order to support back connect, and maybe that'll be in a V2. Now moving on to GPU support, the King 95 Ultra supports GPUs up to 420 millimeters in length. At this point, that's enough room to fit the biggest RTX 4090s and 7900 XTX GPUs on the market. And I'm assuming 
the 50 series will be just as big, or if not smaller, we'll see. Unless they know something that we don't know about future GPUs, I think it's safe to say that they can serve just about any GPU you wanna put inside of this case. Now, what's also cool about the GPU support here is that the case actually includes a GPU brace. It's one of the adjustable kinds that you stick between the bottom of the case and the GPU, and it even says gear seekers on it. Moving on to support for fans and cooling, the King 95 Ultra can support two 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter fans at the case side, three 120 millimeter or two 140 millimeter fans at the case top, three 120 millimeter fans at the case bottom, one 120 millimeter fan at the case rear, and two 120 or 140 millimeter fans tucked at the back where the storage brackets are if you wanna turn this into a more of an airflow case. Now the King 95 Ultra comes with six ARGB equipped fans pre-installed with three 120 millimeter fans at the case bottom, two 140s at the case side, and one 120 at the case rear. They're all PWM fans and they're all connected to a powered fan and ARGB hub that's located in the back. Like I said, the cables were mostly managed well out of the box, which is a lot rarer than you'd actually think. Now, before we move on, the bottom and side fans are reverse fans set for intake, which is exactly how we would have actually set the case up. It's like, it's like a tech tuber was doing something in this thing. Now, if you wanna use a CPU air cooler inside of the King 95 Ultra, there is up to 175 millimeters worth of available clearance. So if you wanna use air coolers like the Noctua NHD 15 G2, it's absolutely gonna fit. And this is where that mesh front panel and some fancy engineering comes into play. It's actually pretty ingenious. See, the side fan bracket can actually flip out to move the side intake to actually front air intake. And then you can use that super secret location in the back drive mount plate to actually put more fans in and create more air inside of the case. Now, the one thing to be aware of is that remember they put reverse fans, so you are gonna have to re either replace those or put them in backwards, which could look a little weird if you were gonna use the stock setup. Now, as for AIO and radiator support, the Keek 95 can support AIOs and radiators up to 280 millimeters at the case side or up to 360 millimeter at the case top. What's also handy here is that the top and side fan mounting brackets are removable from the case, making it much easier to install the fans and the radiators. There is, however, a consideration here that you're gonna need to be aware of, and this is probably our biggest ding against the case. Whatever you're mounting at the top, whether it's fans, a radiator, or maybe your wet gym socks, you're gonna wanna use screws that have flatter heads on them. There is a very small amount of clearance between the bracket and the top of the case. So any screws that need either a washer or have like more rounded heads will keep the top from latching properly. To be honest, if they would have just dropped that overall fan mount, the radiator mount just a couple millimeters, it would have been absolutely fine. So maybe something worth changing in the future. Now, moving on to storage space, Montech must think you all wanna build like file servers because the King 95 Ultra can fit up to eight three and a half inch hard drives or five two and a half inch SSDs. Now, to use all of those mounts, it would mean sacrificing your bottom intake fans, but I suppose having options is better than not having options at all. As for PSUs, the King 95 Ultra can support power supplies with a length of 190 millimeters. For context, that's enough space to accommodate beefy PSUs like the NZXT C1500 Platinum PSU, but honestly, this is an amazing case to use one of Lee & Lee's Edge series PSUs if you want to, because this is exactly what it was designed for. Now, one other quick note here about PSUs and drive mounts is that there's actually a hard drive cage located above the PSU, and that drive tray is removable, but here's where things get kind of interesting. Montech says that you can actually mount a PSU there as well, you know, in case, you know, either A, you wanna mount it up top and you just wanna have the option, or B, you just want a second PSU in here. Not sure why you'd need a second one. It's not like you can do a second system, but hey, again, you have options for where you put your PSU. Now, rounding out the tour of the inside of the case, we have a unified front panel connector, which is awesome. We also have USB 3, USB-C, and HD audio, as well as the fact that they're all black, of course, minus the HD audio multicolored mini cables. We will win that battle someday. Now that we know the ins and the outs, we need to take a look at the King 95 Ultra's thermal performance. As a reminder, the specs for our test bench are on screen here. These are the same parts we use in all of our PC case tests. Every time, we're also testing in the same environment with the same tests. Also, these tests are run at Intel stock CPU settings. One quick note here, because some of you have pointed this out in our comments, our test bench parts will always be the same for every case tested, as each case allows, of course. But the parts in the beauty shots, the parts that you see here, they're gonna be different. So let's get onto the data. Now, while idling, the King 95 Ultra averaged CPU temps of 26 degrees Celsius. This put the Gear Seeker signature case in line with the Antec C8, the Fantex NV7, and the Lian Lee Sup 01. Not bad for laying around, but we wanna know how it does under pressure. 
Moving on to our CPU load test, the King 95 Ultra averaged 74 degrees Celsius on the CPU. This sandwiched it right between the Lian Li 011 Evo RGB and the Fractal North, two incredibly popular cases. As for gaming, our CPU held average temperatures of 43 degrees Celsius in the Gear Seekers and Montech King 95 Ultra. At these temperatures, Basically, the Ultra hung out with both versions of the Fractal North XL, the Antec C7 and C8, as well as the Cougar FE270. Now, as for GPU temperatures at idle, our test GPU held averages of 32 degrees Celsius, which positioned it close to like the Height Y40, the Lian Li 011 Vision, and the Fantex NV5. Now, under GPU load in our gaming benchmarks, the King 95 Ultra held at GPU of an average of 64 degrees Celsius. This plays it right between the Antec C7 and the NZXT H9 Elite. Not bad here, but this is on the warmer side of the middle of the pack. Overall, in the cases we've tested this year, the King 95 Ultra stayed on the cooler side of the middle in most of your CPU and GPU tests, with the exception of the GPU under our gaming load test. But then again, we've tested a number of amazing cases this year, so to land anywhere in the middle, this thing is going to do really, really well, whatever build you put inside of it. Let's be honest, guys, this case is gonna handle whatever you throw at it. Just because it's not at the top, doesn't mean it's not gonna be able to handle anything, okay? It's a good case. Now with thermals tested and a build or two completed, would we recommend the King 95 Ultra from Gear Seekers and Montech? I want you to lean in close to the screen to hear what I'm about to say. This case is so easy to build inside of that Kevin, who builds in every case that comes through Roby Tech Studios at least twice, said that this is one of the easiest case he's ever built inside of. And he never says that. You hear that, Nick and Claire? You made Kevin happy. Well done. But it gets better. Not only is the King 95 Ultra super easy to build inside of, it offers a nice amount of space for cable management with the Gear Seekers cable tie downs, of course. Though, if we were being picky, we do wish there were a couple more places to anchor zip ties to. Then again, you guys know how much I love using zip ties, so that could just be me. We also love that all the cable pass-throughs had rubber grommets. I know these are all seemingly small things, but when you put all the updates, the fitment, the touches of aluminum, the branded tie downs, replacement panel, and yes, even the new feet, it all makes the case feel a cut above the average case. It also is a really, really well-built case. I mean, you can drive a car over the glass. That's important. I can't tell you the number of times we've taken apart cases, removed panels and brackets, only to feel like they're one bad trip to Taco Bell away from falling apart. Now this thing feels sturdy even when it's stripped down. Now the one recommendation that we would make for potential builders here is that you should separate the back PWM fan from the hub and run it off of its own header. We found it helpful to slow the rid fan down a touch so it doesn't suck all your intake air out of the case too quickly. But that's actually something you can benefit in most cases, not just the King 95 Ultra. So are there cheaper cases on the market? Sure, but we can actually see where the dollars actually went in this case, which is awesome. Are there other cases that also perform well? Absolutely, there are a number of great cases on the market and the King 95 was already great before it went plus Ultra. Are there cases that are as versatile as the King 95 Ultra? Now those, those are fewer and further between. So here is the bottom line. If you're looking for a well-built PC case that looks great, builds like a dream, and you don't mind paying a little bit more for some well thought out options and extras, the King 95 Ultra from Gear Seekers and Montech really is the cat pajamas. Or, you know what? Honestly, you could just do something awesome with a great case that supports an amazing content creator like the Gear Seekers. Now, as we close out, we wanna give a huge congratulations to Nick and Claire from Gear Seekers, not only for the collaboration, but for what it means for them. This case released on their seven year anniversary of the start of their channel. And it's such a truly special thing to get to celebrate with them by actually reviewing their case and on top of that, it also being good. Now with that, this one's done. Those were our thoughts on the collaborative effort of Gear Seekers and Montech with the King 95 Ultra. But we wanna know what you think. What do you think of this limited case run collaboration and collaborations like this? What do you think about having a replacement panel for the front and a movable bracket? Let us know all that down in the comments below. Now while you're down there, go ahead and slap that subscribe button, whip that like button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post videos like this right here on Robitech. And if you wanna talk about parts or what you might do with the case and you just have questions, head over to our Discord server, discord.gg slash Robitech. Amazing place to talk about PC building, new cases and all that stuff. And you know what? You might just make a friend. Also follow us at Robitech and all the other social media channels. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next one.